Hi everybody, I am Yashika from Besen Technologies. We saw about the basics of virtualization and the different terminologies associated with it in the last video. If you have any doubts, please write us in the comment section. We will respond to you. Also, if you want to learn further, please contact the Besen Technologies that is nearest to you. Thank you. In today's video, we are going to see about the basics of computer and networking. So, let's see what is a computer system. A computer system is made up of three parts that is hardware, software and people. Hardware is nothing but the physical component that makes up a computer. Then what is software? Software is nothing but the set of instructions that is used to communicate with the hardware of the computer. The third most important part is the people. They combine the work of the hardware and software and do some and make that into a particular purpose use that for a particular purpose so the people are the most important part of the computer system next let's see about what is a network a network is nothing but a group of computers that is connected with each other for sharing resources exchanging information and for communication purpose sharing resource in the sense maybe many computers together uh, ha will have a common printer so that's how they share resources that's how a network is designed say based on the network size we can divide the networks into two main categories LAN and WAN LAN is nothing but local area network and WAN is wide area network so what is a local area network so when there is a system of computers uh, many computers are linked together within an office or say within a school then that comes under LAN. Then what is WAN? WAN is nothing but wide area network. When we have the different computers connected within a wide area, then that is called WAN. Say for example, between cities, states or even countries, that comes under WAN category. So now let's move on to IP. IP is nothing but internet protocol. Just like how we have an address, physical address, computer has something called as a IP address so this is a numerical value that is assigned to a computer for all the computers that are participating in a network so each network participant will be assigned a particular IP so the main thing in IP is the IP address keeps on changing so there are two types like IPv4 and IPv6 what happens in IPv4 this is used since the start of computers it is 32 bit long so what happened is with the evolution of internet as more and more devices comes into picture the IP, the IPv4 address got depleted so there are no more IPv4 addresses for allocation by 2013 only so then we move on to IPv6 the IPv6 has 128 bits so the main thing here is you can accommodate more and more devices that comes into the internet so there is some there are two things in IP that is it has a private IP address each device will be having a private IP address and a public IP address the pub, the private IP address is not routable it is not communicatable over the internet whereas public IP address is routable and it can be communicated over the internet so since the IPv4 is getting depleted in order to extend the use usage of IPv4 there is a particular mechanism that is used by the use of NAT. NAT is network address translator or network address translation. This actually virtualizes the private IP addresses so that the, the depletion could be delayed a little further for IPv4. This is all about the IP addresses, the basics of IP address. Now let's next see about the OSM model and about the main two things that is about switches and routers. So the OSI model is called as open system interconnection model. 
and the, it has seven layers the layers would be it goes from the bottom physical data link network transport session presentation and application so these three layers the physical data link and the network layers are called as the hardware layers the transport layer that is the main layer that is the heart of your uh, open system interconnection model then the next three is session presentation application these three are called as the software layers so we wanted to see about the basics of routers and switches where does routers and switch come in this place say router sits in the network layer that is the third layer hard third layer of the hardware layer third hardware layer so what is the function of a router router directs your data into a network so what happens is say the communication between your home network or even a PC and a modem is done by a router so they are they connect to the internet that is the they suppose you get a TCP IP packet so it checks for the source address and the destination IP address and it will send the packet to reach the destination IP address properly so that's the function of a router then comes switches what is a switch switch sits in the second hardware layer of the open system interconnection model that is the data link layer this is not capable of having an internet connection this is just a physical device that is used to connect all the computers uh, it's just a manual kind of device it's a just a small physical device it is used to connect all your computers in a network say within a LAN they just uh, they are just used to manage the ports manage security and other basic kind of thing and they do not have any internet connection so this is all about routers switches a computer system and network if you have any questions please send us in the comment section so we'll see in the next video we'll see about further topics in the next video thank you